Hello survivors, Wanderer here, welcome back to Fallout New Vegas Dust. So we are back at the shack, uh, I've taken care of the necessities, gotten our food, hydration, and sleep all taken care of. Well, the hydration is already getting high again. Uh, did I bring anything to drink? I've been kind of mucking about in my inventory here for a second, kind of uh, uh, learning about some stuff. I really haven't. Um, Maybe we just go and drink from a toilet somewhere, if we can find one. Probably will be the, the move, to be honest. Um, I want to explore further south today. The two main issues that are plaguing us right now are that we, uh, well, our, our arm and leg and, well, everything kind of is in bad shape in terms of uh, limb damage. So I'll probably want to think about taking the adamantium skeleton perk earlier rather than sooner. Um, or, sorry, earlier rather than later. Sooner rather than later. That's the saying. God damn. I, I just... Yeah. Anyway, uh, I want to think about taking that. Now, Crippled Leg doesn't seem to have the uh, huge detriment that it did in the previous the previous times I played New Vegas. I think that's because you were essentially hobbled when you were crippled on a leg before. Um, I've been playing regular New Vegas kind of alongside this playthrough, just, just kind of for fun, just because I wanted to... Uh, to, to alleviate some of the stress, uh, basically, because regular New Vegas is much less stressful, and um, that effect is not present there either. So I think that must be a uh, an effect of the one of the mods I previously had. Maybe um, Project Nevada might have done it. Anyway, um, it's quite late at night, and um, I thought that maybe. I know there are tunnelers up here, and I don't want to tangle with the tunnelers, obviously, but I thought that maybe there's some loot uh, up here on the ridge that you normally have to access by going through the tunnelers. But I thought maybe if we're crafty enough, uh, we can get through here without upsetting any tunnelers and maybe grab some easy loot and then uh, get the hell out. Yeah, like right over here, there's some loot. Uh, there's a couple traps as well, which I don't think I can disarm. They're going to require... I think it's 25, but it might be higher than that even. Okay, so we don't see any tunnelers over there in the immediate line of sight. So yeah, this is, this is, yeah, this is good. We'll just check this corpse here. What do, you, what do you got, buddy? That's not very good loot, is it? Hmm. No, that's really worth taking. And I'm going to assume... Oh, yeah, 45 to get that. So that's not going to happen. Just mosey on over towards this fridge. And yes, I see you there. And I hope oh, there's nothing in there. Okay. I literally can hear the tunnelers over there. So we are going to very care. Maybe they're just sleeping. They're just sleeping over there. That's just snores we hear. Okay, uh, 10 mil. That's that's all right. I'm okay with that. And okay. Oh boy. Okay. Nope. I hope they can't go down mountains like that. Let's get out. This was a bad idea. I'm just going to run until they de-aggro, or and like I'll just go back to our shack. I don't want to deal with the tunneler. Though they do have... Can I zoom out more? No, it's as much as I can zoom out. Okay, I think we're good. Uh, I think they, yeah, eventually they just kind of decide they don't care too much anymore. All right. Well, we got a 10 mil and we got some ammo for it. That's good. We didn't have to fight anything. It's a win in my book. Just let's uh, keep to this side of the road. Probably should be sneak. I just, I can't bring myself to be a crouched over goblin 100% of the time, you know? I should be sneaking the entire time, I know, because things have a ridiculous aggro radius. They will aggro onto us before I even see them, most likely, before they're on my compass. But at the same time, it just seems uh, silly to me to be crouched over like a goblin the entire, the entire time. Not sure if I mentioned this last time, but I do think that the um, 
aggressiveness of things is a bit much. Yeah, we already we killed these guys with our shovel with our shovel last time. These poor bastards, these poor survivors. We murdered them all with a shovel. So the biggest thing that I'm worried about actually is uh, my arm, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, doctor's bag that bad boy. Even though, like preemptively, before we actually even break it. I should probably be kind of maintaining my limbs in that manner. I, why am I going up here? There are going to be tunnelers up here. Oh, uh, in fact, the fact that I tapped V and it brought my weapon out is uh, pretty much a guaranteed giveaway that there's a tunneler up there. No, thank you. But yeah, the biggest issue we're going to be facing in the immediate future is going to be uh, feeding ourselves. And uh, there is, I mean, I believe there is food around that we can get. We just have to, you know, fight people for it and stuff. But... Um, the wildlife is unfortunately... There's a lot less of it. Did we already check this um, cabinet over here? I think we did, but... I, I think the best place we can go probably are going to be towns, you know? There are... Are there... Did I get the powder charges over here? This is a powder ganger camp normally, and I, I think I was here... Yeah, there's normally there's dynamite and stuff over here, so I would have, I would have uh, taken that. And these are all empty, so yes, we've been here. Apologies if I am retreading areas. I wonder if uh, because I wonder if the if the powder ganger armor would like make them not hostile to me anymore. Yeah, I was over here and looted that thing. This this entire area. Just a metal spoon. Never mind. But yeah, I want to go further south, and, um, oh, that's a decrepit, decaying corpse. Oh, okay. Well, there's no, there's no getting around fighting this guy, is there? Okay, well, let's hope we get him with these two shots. Oh, yeah. He also got us, though. Uh, it didn't, it didn't do that much damage, though. It was actually okay. Oh, it's a radiate, huh? That's not the kind of tunneler food I was going for. You can get uh, tunneler steaks off of them. Oh, how bad did that mess up my... Yeah, it's... Well, uh, I'm just glad I didn't hit my leg, because that would have crippled my leg. We can make a healing item that restores a whole bunch of health and also restores limb condition. And that's probably going to be the key to my long-term uh, not being crippled. Just keep moseying on over here. Any buffalo gourd seeds? Oh, yes, thank you. Uh, I don't know why. I guess I'm stealthy enough to not be aggroed on him. I would kind of like to... I mean, he's not that difficult. I could take him out in two shots. I'd kind of like to sneak up on him and double vats him in the head if possible. Because they can drop meat. You just gonna chill over there, huh? Maybe I'd better not tempt fate. Maybe we just keep going. Yeah, I just thought we would... Well, I shouldn't... I definitely shouldn't uncrouch, though. Yeah, I just thought we'd keep going down south. I know it's dark, and I apologize for that, but, like, I, I can't just sleep whenever I feel like it. You know, I have to manage my sleep cycle very, very carefully because sleeping increases our hunger and thirst by a great deal. And that's going to... Ooh, a rad roach. I'll just shovel him, probably. But uh, increasing our hunger and thirst is a very good way... Oh. That's not good. Is that a tunneler? People shooting at him. Uh, are you coming towards me? 
I, you are, shit. Oh, let's do them. Oh, no, that's not, oh, God, there goes a leg. Okay, um, this is real bad. Oh, these guys are way stronger. What? They're that strong? I think we just die here, fellas. Yeah, I think we're just dead. Um, uh, 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 what? Can I, can I? Um, um, what? <laughs> it's just tossing me around. Yeah, I'm just dead. Okay. So, the ones that we fought earlier, is it going to send me all the way back? Or did I get like a quick save in somewhere? All the way back here, huh? I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys, uh, I, I'm back uh, after several attempts to get back down. Ooh, so nice, some 20 gauge stuff I didn't get before. Down to uh, Gene Skydiving, to that area. I've, I've finally gotten down here again, and uh, I'm gonna save now that we're down here because it's been a real ordeal. Just. Ah, Jesus! I forgot to bind my gun. That genuinely kind of scared the piss out of me, I'm not going to lie. Okay, survivor. Yeah, that's right. You came poking around the wrong corner, buddy. That's right. Ooh, a leather belt. I can make... Another makeshift breathing mask. I repair mine with that. Ooh, 13 MF cells to go with that. All right. Uh, let's see here. Is this better than my shovel? Probably not. I mean, the shovel is... Oh, it's not that bad. It's only a three weight. Yeah, the shovel's better. We're going to keep the shovel for now. I'll take that to repair mine. Uh, none of the other stuff is really any better. But that's a nice find. And what kind of shape is this plasma rifle in? That's uh, okay. It's all right. That genuinely jump scared the hell out of me. Okay. Um, yes. Well, uh, I would say uh, even trade, honestly. I think, honestly, what I've learned, guys, is we have to keep our freaking head down. We got to crouch wherever we go, no matter what. Uh, I do need to heal a little bit. I want to save these Brock flowers and the other things, too. We're definitely thirsty, so I'll go ahead and have a couple sarsaparillas. I don't know if I want to use a stim pack to see I can probably make do with just sipping some sarsaparillas because I need hydration. Could do like two more sarsaparillas probably, and it would not be a waste in terms of hydration. An old airplane with the right know-how and some working parts. It looks like it'd be fixed up. Oh, right. This is a way to escape, I think, right? I believe so. Um, I don't know what it requires, but it's kind of like the boat fix in Far Harbor from Frost. I think we drink another one now, yeah. Maybe do... Uh, I don't really want to use stim packs up, but... Do we have any food with us? Besides... We have a dog steak. Uh, yeah, I, I'm sure I need that much food at this point. Oh, I don't really want to tangle with the centaur. They they don't really have a weak spot, do they? But, you know, they're slow and uh, they do have a range attack, but they're slow and I... Yeah, we're just going to avoid that. Is he already aggroed on me from all the way over there? That's possible. Let's swap order junk rounds, actually. But yeah, what I've learned from my several trips trying to get down here is that you just, you just have to crouch. You just you just have to the entire time. You just gotta crouch 100, uh, percent or you're just you're just dead. Stuff will find you very easily, much more easily than you find it. Yeah, we already killed these guys. We already looted this camp over here. We just keep proceeding down south. So what I'd like to do ideally is to have this nice, uh, wonderful tunneler. 
that's over here uh, take out the survivors, and hopefully they injure the tunneler enough that I can then just take it out. That's ideal scenario, and I get all their loot. Then we'll proceed down south and check out what's down in the uh, Bison Steve, and uh, what's was the NCR camp across from it, basically Prim. Okay, this one is reasonable to kill. There's quite a bit of variance in the tunnelers. Um, and I believe that's because there's quite a bit of variance in the geckos. So, like... You know, you had your baby geckos, right? The... I don't know what they were called. But the smaller geckos... Those are not too bad to take out. We got some wreckage over here. And another tunneler. Now see, that one's much more difficult to kill. That one would take probably like five or six headshots to kill. Whereas this one over there, I could kill him in one or two shots. Pretty easy. But yeah, there's quite a bit of variance in the tunnelers and... Mostly how much health they have. Okay, um, anybody over here? No, looks like we're good. Right, there's the rad roach. That's what we saw earlier, and then things went horribly wrong because a tunneler ran up to us and bit our head off. Instead of biting the heads off the survivors over here, which is what I'm hoping it will happen. Yeah, that's what's that's what I was hoping for. Uh, okay, it's a centaur. Uh, don't really want to fight you, centaur. <laughs> oh, that that. Oh god. Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> Legitimately scared the shit out of me. Oh. Oh god. I don't usually get jump scared like that in Fallout games. But he was. Oh. Okay. Where's the survivors at? Where's the bodies? Oh, there's a tunnel right there. I don't know why he's not aggroed on me, but we're just. Uh, if I, how much, uh, we can't kill him. Just, just go the other way. Okay, here we go. Is this a rad roach? No, it's a survive. Okay. Oh my dear God. A varmint rifle. Oh good, some eggs. Now there's probably another one here, yeah? I thought I saw two survivors earlier. That, le that tunnel or jump scare legitimately scared me half to death. I haven't ever jumped like that. Oh, it's a friendly survivor. I'm sorry, friendly survivor, but you're going to be a corpse survivor quite soon. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's the same one, right? Oh, uh, is he fighting? What is he fighting? What you shooting at there, friend? Okay, relax your shoulders, Wander. Just relax. Just relax. It'll be okay. Man, what are you shooting at, dude? What are you doing over here? He must have. He must have won. Whoever he was shooting at, I must have killed him. Can I just follow, uh, your trail of corpses? What would that? I mean, it works for me. Oh yeah, he, he totally killed this guy. Shot the survivor, and he didn't take the gear? Well, I mean, hey, what am I wearing? Uh, we're wearing a old world duster. Oh, yeah, this should be repaired by... Well, I can just put this on instead, because it's, like, as good. So we'll just... Right, we'll do this. Let's see here. Hunter's duster, 6 DT, 3 weight, 2 guns, 1 endurance... 
Um, I think I prefer this, but let's be real. This one's in a lot better shape, so we'll just use that to repair that one and call it good. So this is a side entrance for what would have been the NCR area in Prim, and this guy is just gonna go through here and, um... He's detecting me, which is fine. Wow, there's a bunch of ammo in here. Hey, I won't turn it down. What was that? What's... What am I seeing? Oh, oh, it's another survivor. I didn't see him in the we- Oh! Oh shit! Oh! <laughs> that was pickpocketing. You were sleeping. Oh, it's this guy. He was sleeping. Oh boy, I'm sorry, buddy. Buddy old pal. I thought about getting the shovel out, but I think this is the safest bet. I'm sorry. I didn't realize- I, I thought it was a corpse in the weeds. I didn't re I didn't read what I was doing, and um... Okay, well, rest in peace, buddy. Rest in peace. Not missing anything over here, am I? Okay. He cleared out one person over here. There should be a stash of stuff. Remember that, there's a stash of stuff in a hidden rock thing up there. Can I, can I get there from here? Maybe I can get a better view of, uh... What's over here as well? I don't think we can get up there from here. Maybe if I was really... Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think we can do this. Yeah, just uh, do a little... Uh, oh, there we go, yeah. A little bit of... A little bit of New Vegas parkour. Uh, yes, there is some stuff here. Some jet. Some psycho. Some more jet, and a wrench. I don't know that I really need wrenches at the moment. Pack of cigarettes. I don't really need those either. Let's not give Sandy back, do they? No, I don't. I mean, I think there's a mod you can actually use to do that, but I don't have it installed in any case. Okay, this is a nice vantage point anyway. I can uh, do some sniping down upon people from up here if there is anyone. So far, I don't see anybody. Um, okay, I definitely can get up there. There we go. wonder how much loot is left in these camps. There's quite a bit of stuff in here when they were uh, posted by the NCR. Obviously, it's been some time since that happened, and I do see a first aid kit. Perhaps we'll get lucky with that. Well, better than nothing. I don't know if tweezers are really used for anything, but they weigh one pound, so I'm not going to really worry about taking those. We just can't go in that one. Okay. Alright. We'll see if we can maybe get a flank on this guy. I think he's saying, you see something? What in the... N a makeshift minigun? That's way too much of a... Uh, Hail Mary. I think we... Ow! Boy, that hurt, man. Well, not that much. But for, you know, one shot, it was pretty painful. I think we just sit around the corner here. And... Let him come to us. Or wait until the stealth kicks back in. Not from over there, you're not. You should come over this way. Oh, yeah. I've got something for you. Oh, yeah. I got something for you. 
Just come on over, I'll show you. Thought hiding Whoa, what the? You? He's inside. Oh, okay. <laughs> he found me from in there, though. That's kind of bullshit. Had enough? Uh, what? Uh, what? I do have... I do have explosives. I don't think it's really advisable to use them at this range, though. Could try a throwing spear, too, but, I mean, again, I don't think it's really advisable. My man, you are kind of bugged out. Wish I had lean right about now. Oh, God. Uh, that's not hitting. Can't hide from you forever. That's still not hitting. He's gonna pop out of there like any second and just annihilate me probably. If his head is above there, does, does that mean I can shoot his head from over here? Or is it just stuck in the... Oh no, I can see his head there. Come on. Can't hide from me forever. Ah, uh, we're just not getting him. We're wasting ammo doing this. I'm gonna find you. Okay. Well, uh, the good news is he is 100% like stuck in there. So run, 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 run. What? There's no way I could have possibly. Well, whatever. It's fine. Did that not hit him at all? No, it didn't hit him at all. Great. Great. Well, what about if I... No, I want to go into stealth, please. Yeah, this is like a 100%. Uh, it's going to clip on the tent, probably. Okay. Hooah! Yes! That's all we needed to do, was just... throw a spear into his belly. I... Crippled myself needlessly, unfortunately. Okay, we can't do that yet. Okay. Okay. Uh, well. And then, can I actually get to him? Oh, yeah, we can if we crouch. Maybe? He might... His body might... Oh, yep, there we go. We got it. BBs and a makeshift minigun. Does okay DPS. It's quite heavy. This thing's... Ooh, survival skill, huh? 10 weight, 7 DT. It is rather... a lot. Um, I'm gonna take these and then I'm gonna probably dump it over here. It will be nice as a survival skill booster, though, which is very, very important. Uh, because my survival is currently at... Uh, 41, right, and I, I need, um, 45 to make some of the stuffs, and this would give me plus 3. Yeah, so, like, if I had one, one, one more point from something else, then use that, I could make some cool stuff. That'd be nice. I'm gonna stash this stuff here for now. I certainly don't have room for it at the moment. The save in too. That was a kind of a lucky break. It was so weird that he went inside of here. Okay. Is that all? Okay, we're gonna check over there in a second. First I wanna check through the rest of the uh, camp here. hear more shooting over there, but, you know, um, doesn't concern me. Check up here, there's a little, little guard post encampment type thing, might find some, or not. Might find some ammo cases, what I was thinking, but no, no ammo over here. Okay, well, let's check inside, there ought to be something in here. Okay, 
Um, looks like we're good here. And we've got some decent NCR armor. I wonder if that... Does that make us disguised? I'd like to check that. No, I, I don't think it'll actually make us disguise as NCR. I know there are NCR people in here and uh, in Dust. Not not in this area, I don't think, but they exist in Dust. And, okay, it's empty as well. And, uh, yeah, they're, they're not very friendly anymore. Because the wasteland's gone to hell, and people just try to murder them constantly, and it's this whole area has been kind of abandoned, and yeah, it's just kind of gone to hell, and they're just uh, out to survive, just like we are. Alrighty. Should have come in through the door. Stealth. Nine millimeter extended magazine. Revolver. And a journal. And some decent leather armor, too. Note added journal. Data. Miscellaneous. Okay, entry 118. Damn, those freaks have really got this place locked down. They don't know we're here or else they'd have rushed us by now. Dave scoured the place out a bit. Looks like they're low on firepower, but make up for it in numbers. They've got a hell of a lot of homemade guns, though. Probably not very strong, but it'll still fill me full of lead if I let them. Stan staying positive, but I don't think we're getting Ellen and the girls back. So, some people across the street, I would assume. Over at the Bison Steve. That'd be my assumption. Can sleep here as well if needed. Okay. That leather armor is uh, not bad either. I, In fact, it's very good if I can repair it. I'll probably keep it around for now. In fact, I might make this little area over here my kind of base camp if I decide to go over and try to assault the people over at the Bison Steve, because I'm assuming it's going to be a whole lot of people over there. And very dangerous. I don't think we're in any immediate danger here, though, because if, we, if there were people here, well, then they would be shooting at us and... Uh, hooting and hollering and trying to kill us. Okay. Let's check out the surrounding buildings here for any loot. Again, we're mostly after food, but we'll take what we can get. I know it's dark, and again, I apologize for that, but, um... There's not too much I can do about that without risking getting my head blown off, you know? Strange meat pie. Well, it is food. It uh, definitely damages Sandy, which is not a terrible thing. I don't care too much about damaging Sandy, although we do have a bunch of booze here. That's helpful. I'm not going to just chug the booze I find as I find it because I don't want to... Ooh, a toilet. You can get some hydration there. Uh, I don't want to lower my skills in case I want to craft things. Like if I find enough stuff to craft uh, some more spears, that'd be nice. Okay, probably some ammo and stuff over there. Some more stuff. Oh, there's a bed over here. I don't think you get the full benefits of resting in a bed if it's outside, though. Even if it's like a nicer bed like this, don't think you get the full benefits of it. But good to know there's a bed here. I think I'm okay to put light on here. Queen-sized bed.
Okay. And there should be... Should probably be stealth because they're... Yeah, they're... Okay, they're cannibals. Um... Yeah, I don't... Are there mines? There should be mines over here, right? Okay, and you got a melee weapon? Did not hit him. Well, I can probably finish you off. Are there more? As long as there are no more, I can probably finish you off with a shovel. Hey, buddy, over here. Hey, buddy. It's a nice uh, scythe you got there. What are you doing? Where are you going? It's over this way. You dummy. You dumb dumb. Makeshift scythe. Uh, it's not bad. It's not great, though. Uh, this is... Uh, whatever, I'll take it for now. What a, what a dumb dumb. That was pretty effective if they're if they're all melee cannibals. If they follow suit of the Molden men, which I don't know if they will, they might have guns, but Molden men in Frost did not have uh, guns, typically. It was very, very rare to see them with a gun. In fact, I'm pretty sure it was a bug if you did. Oh! What? Okay, that's a bit of a bug, I would assume. Get the, get the gun out. Thank you. Okay. Well, it's, uh, it's more loot, so I guess that's fine. That's rather strange, though. Wow, this weighs 16 and only is 2DT. That's pretty terrible. Did these respawn? No, just this random trooper spawned in. That's okay. Well, you know. I took minimal damage for that. I'm okay with it. What about over here? Did one spawn in here, too? No, so lumpy over here. Okay, well. Uh, is this where I'm storing stuff? No, is it over... Where did I... Where am I putting stuff at? Ooh, duct tape. Did I miss this before? A hammer I can scrap as well. I gotta remember I can scrap some of this stuff. Okay, that's empty. All right, I missed. That's weird, but hey, uh, you know, I'm not gonna complain. Where did I put my stuff at, though? Oh, the the twitching kind of kind of freaked me out there. It was back in the other thing, wasn't it? Yeah, I think I should move that stuff over to here. This seems like a decent spot. Well, although if it's if people are gonna respawn in here, maybe not. I don't know. Okay. Let's continue our exploration for now, then. Probably going to be pretty thirsty, too, so I'm going to go ahead and get a drink over here, and then maybe... Well, before I do that, let me get the crafting kit out, because I'm going to take some alcohol here, and it's going to lower my skills, so I want to do a salvage hammer here. And... Um, a throwing spear, sure, why not? I need to make a splint at some point, or find a splint, something like that, because I need the, uh, need to heal my broken foot, broken leg, whatever. This is not a bad spot to do some sniping, though. Skull hammer. You have a knife, a cleaver. Okay, so both of you are, I mean, not harmless, certainly, but uh, not that bad either. They ran over those mines and they took forever to detonate. They just ran past them without taking any damage. There's some mines over here. That's odd. I guess I could disarm those and take them. There's two of them, though. It's kind of... I should probably save. I haven't saved in forever. It's kind of risky. Given New Vegas' propensity for just propelling you forward like crazy, I think maybe... This is the better option. i just do a little EE -E real quick. Yeah, there we go. 
Okay. I'm wondering if those, for whatever reason, the mines that we used earlier didn't, um... Whatever reason, they didn't. Let's do one there. And one back here, because they're guaranteed to run through here. For whatever reason, they didn't, uh... Detonate in frost fashion, or they, you know, like they didn't go off. Oh, that's missiles. Okay, that's missiles. Thank you, thank you so much for the missiles game. I'm sure that will never be useful for me, but much appreciated. Sincerely doubt we're gonna haul around a missile launcher. Okay, let's get a sip and then plop the gun again here. More toilet water. We need food, too. Yep, we are now poisoned with radiation. That's okay, though. Eventually, we want to get pretty high rads. How's that doing on our water? It's like 100 per, right? Yeah, our H2O is now fine. We just need some food. What do we have for food? Uh, let's see. We got this thing. Whatever. Sure. Maybe I should wait. No, nah, it's because food the food being low is damaging our... It's giving us problems. Yeah, we'll do those. That'll be a hundred worth. There we go. I was considering waiting, but I think we'll just go ahead. Because food is healing as well, right? But I think it's better. Just go ahead. All right, so I want to draw these guys over here. I'd like to draw them here. I might be cheeky with the VAT shot as well, if I can get them patrol over here somewhere. Getting to be light enough out that I can actually kind of see. I don't really want to have to run away from them, that wouldn't be a good time. There's one who's patrolling over. I mean, if I can get them, if I can shoot them without... Uh, it's going to be a pain in the ass. Do I just vats and... Well, let me, let me wait until he's at least stationary. That's maybe good enough. Okay. Okay, he's going to be upset with us now. This way, here, I'll turn my light on too. This way, this way, stupid cannibals. Nothing on this bridge to see here. Totally safe. It is too flippin' dark and he is just not caring. Okay, there we go. I can actually see him, maybe. Nope. Oh, we're wasting ammo. Oh, this is gonna... Okay, it didn't, didn't hurt me good. This way, you idiot. Hey, stupid. This way. Okay. I don't know if that actually hit him or not. Oh, that one got him. That one got him. Oh, uh, I don't know where this is going. Uh, fail. Oh, God. What the hell are you using? Makeshift ionizer? Alright, I don't know why you're not shooting at me yet, but I'm gonna take it. And, uh, we're just gonna take this away so you can't use it. That's great. You're almost dead, so... 
Come on over. I don't know why they always want to run over to here, but Damn. what the? You like that? Okay. Took that guy's makeshift scythe. Hey, look at that. I wonder if I can scrap this. Okay. I mean, it, it worked. We got there in the end. Over here is where I stashed my stuff, right? Um. Suppose I can repair some of this stuff, yeah? Makeshift ion blaster. It's, oh, it's, it's like a, it's a laser shotgun. It's pretty good. Pretty decent. It's like, what, 40 damage per shot-ish? Around there? Somewhere around there. Uses MF cells. Um, let me check my crafting kit here. Yeah, we can salvage this. Ooh, I can get a crutch. Uh, yeah, we're gonna salvage this for the crutch, I would say. And then... I don't want to salvage the crutch. I want to keep the crutch around and turn the crutch into a splint. Right, need a leather belt for that. I might have a leather belt back at the, uh, back at the base. So, okay, that's good. That's pretty it's been pretty successful so far honestly this thing's getting pretty beat up though I can't salvage this uh, it's totally busted unfortunately um, I'm still gonna stick with this for now I still have ammo for it we do have the plasma rifle which is in decent enough shape I mean you know considering it's dust after all but 19 damage per shot is pretty good bonus crit chance we got quite a few MF cells for it I think it's better than the uh, Ion Blast. Well, I don't know, actually. I'm pretty sure Dust has the same issue with shotgun-type weapons that other... I wonder if I can repair this with... Mm, I doubt it. We'll see, though. Pretty sure Dust has the same issue with... Um, those types of weapons, though, with shotguns, because they don't go through DT very well. So unless they have DT Ignore on them... Specifically, they're not very good. Yeah, we can't do that, but I can reinforce this. I can repair this thing. And that's pretty good. DT of 9. Okay, it's it's rather heavy, though. Don't think I'll be using it right away. But it's pretty good, assuming I can repair it up. We have an excited magazine for the 9mm as well. This is um, this is for the pistol, though, not for the revolver, so I don't think it works. Pretty low damage per shot. But it is a 9 mil after all. Uh, missiles... Wait, these these don't have weight anymore. Huh. I had I had turned um, Stewie's AI tweaks on for my other playthrough. And it had... Did I... I'm pretty sure I had weight on these before, right? On the ammo? I had turned on Stewie's AI Tweaks, or Stewie Owl's Tweak, I'm not sure how you say his name, but the, the Tweaks mod is really, really good for my other playthrough to make ammo waitlist because I'm just playing it for fun and I, I don't care about, about it that much. Um, I'll have to see, look into that. I'm not opposed to ammo being waitlist, though, to be honest. I like the other aspects of hardcore, but ammo having a lot of weight in this is kind of excessive. I don't know, we'll see. Some of the ammo weights add up really, really quickly. These items, yeah, these still have weight and everything. These, that's still fine. Okay, but that's that's pretty good. We got that guy down. Both of them are down. We got plenty of MF cells now. Um, we've gotten some food. I mean, I'm okay with where we are. We actually got a mine off. That was pretty good. Surprised. I mean, they just kind of run past them. I almost have to put them in like a choke point where they have to run around something. Or, I, for whatever reason, they really like to run back to that one area. I don't know why. Maybe I just put like some mines over there and we just lure them over there or something. That could work. But yes, I I need a leather belt. Um Unfortunately I didn't get any tunneler hides, did I? Miscellaneous. I don't think I 
I do have a leather belt. Surprised I can't use a leather belt plus the... Can I really not? Can I not use leather belt plus the crutch? Is it because I don't have enough um, skill? Why can I not make a splint out of that? Yeah, okay, I just need more medicine skill, right? So I could do this, I just need more medicine skill. I mean, all right, how close are we to leveling up? We're actually extremely close, like one decent lock picking or uh, one, it's not far off at all. Okay. Get a save in here. Since I've been playing Tarkov, I keep thinking those are, are going to hurt me. Oh, hello, cannibal. I think that uh, engaging people from long range is like a really bad idea because they seem to hit me a lot easier than I hit them at this point. Quite a lot of them, aren't there? Um, I think... Oh, they're already... They're already on to me. I think the move here is maybe to... Um, In fact, I think the reason we damaged the other guy with the mine is because uh, the one behind him actually got hit by it. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But, you know, what I'm thinking is, since these guys just, they just love to run over here for whatever reason, they really enjoy going over here um, in this area. So maybe it's because they're trying to pick up stuff off this guy. Maybe I should leave this guy as bait. The AI is going, oops. Uh, yeah, there we go. The AI is going to try and pick stuff up off of this guy. Like, if there's a, um, a weapon here. Like a melee weapon. Maybe that skull... Maybe the skull hammer, or... Do I want to give them a varmint right? I mean, it's fine. They'll, they're, they're gonna die from the powder charge. But yeah, what I'm thinking is I'll put some stuff on this guy. Right? And then they'll be like, oh, there's there's loot over there. And then they'll go and try to loot him. But there's a powder charge. Eh? Yeah, now we're thinking. Now we're thinking like a survivor. This will probably go horribly wrong, but let's try it. The one time I planned for it. They, uh, don't take the bait. So now I don't know where they've gone. They've gone, like, around the corner. <clears throat> There's one. Okay, yet another skull hammer. Oh, I got him. Oh, I got him. Nice shot, Wandy. Ooh, you've got another makeshift, uh, shotgun. Okay. Can't really see her. There, there she is. Uh, okay. There's like a bunch of them. You got a makeshift minigun. Another one of those. Okay, you're turning away. I can get a headshot on this guy. Shit. Okay. No, 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 no. We're running. And again, for whatever reason, they love to go over there, so maybe he... Stop wasting your ammo shooting at me. I'm not there yet. There, now run over. Run around like an idiot. To that spot, because you love going there for some reason. Oh, he's... Wait. Okay, I do have some dynamite. He's running. Ah! Oh, God! Oh, there's a bunch. Oh, no. That's not good. That's not, that's not good. There's no way I hit this guy properly. Ow, ow, ow. Jesus Christ, it hurts. Okay. They're on to my tricks, guys. The, the powder charge over in the corner. They didn't go for it. They didn't care about it. And we pulled, like, all three of them. I guess there were four here. Okay, they don't care about this powder charge. We're gonna we're gonna modify the plan. We're gonna put it over here. 
Now you decide to come, come over here, excuse me, and crouch and... Oh my gosh, why am I hiccuping so much? I think this is the spot. So there's four of them there, that's kind of rough, not gonna lie. Ideally, I want to take out one that's got a, a ranged weapon, you know? Like, I don't really want to be dealing with the... I don't want to... Like, the melee is not as big of a deal, right? Like, this person is fine. But she is patrolling back and forth. going to be very difficult to make that shot. Don't think I'll even try, really. Yep, I know I'm being a little bitch, guys. It's, it's kind of... You yeah, gotta be a little bitch sometimes, you know? You gotta... You gotta do what you gotta do. Shotgun. And another... Uh, the minigun was really rough. I would like to take that person out if I can. Are you station? Are you kind of stationary? Okay. Okay. Put that away. Just run. They don't do that much damage from over here. I think. Do we do this? Would just hold. Gotcha. Gotcha. And we're not in combat. Excellent. Excellent. We just pulled the one. We got rid of that freaking minigun. Those things are kind of rough. Throwing knives. Ooh, these are real, dude. These are real good. Those are real nice. Okay, we're saving. That's we're saving after that. That was good progress. Good progress. You sleep now, too. Character's sleep schedule's all off balance. Uh, I could just do this, and it would... Oh, yeah, that would work for sleep, I guess. This is really good, though. I kind of want to save this. It's got a bunch of energy and fire resist and stuff, so... Oh, uh, yeah, do a bandage. That works. Can't loot this, can I? No. Ooh. Was it was it so decorative? Were the corpses so decorative in... Uh, Looking for ammo cases around here in the original? Or is that a dust edition? I think they were like that before. I don't know. I notice these things more because I'm always looking for things that dust changes. Okay, there's one. Cleaver. Can't that's the other one. They're not that far away though. There's a good potential I could shoot these people. If I just stay out of line of sight. Now there is one over here too. But I may be able to hop around the corner here. Oh, someone else is... Uh, okay, yep, this person's got a... Uh, Makeshift shotgun. No! I got her, but it was not enough. Okay, let's, um... Let's hope she doesn't toss a grenade. No! Uh, like that. It, I think this thing took the... Oh. Took the brunt of it, but... I still took some damage. Ow! Excuse me. 
Did it clip on that? No, we got it. We just missed the first time. Shit. Shit, we did clip on it. That's no good. Um, my head got pretty messed up from that, yeah? Oh no, it's our chest. Alright. Uh, I think aiming is like the most important though, right? So I think we do the arm. Actually, pretty ideal. Pretty. Sh oh, God, I got just. I got smacked. The headshot there, I think. I was so happy I got that one down. I got two down there. Okay, well. We're making progress, guys, but we're not quite there. I'm going to give this like one more try. I'm out of... I do have explosives. I do have a long fused dynamite that I could toss, but I don't think I can make it all the way over there. I could try the minigun, too. I have a lot of BBs for this. I probably don't want to carry this around too much. Um, hitting people is going to be... Like, actually hitting them is going to be interesting. I don't suppose I could... Sneaky, sneaky over here. I actually kind of want them to come over here. Oh, no. Oh, God. Okay, we, we were out of line of sight for that. No, don't do it again, you asshole. This thing works pretty good. <laughs> this is pretty awesome. BBs, huh? Who the hell else? Oh, God. From all the way over there? Hell no. Hell no. Ouch. Okay. I got a new favorite gun, guys. This is pretty awesome, actually. Maybe I should have popped some morphine before I went in there, to be honest. You know, 25 DR, I would have taken a lot less damage. I think we go ahead and use a stim pack. Like, I don't have anything else, so... I need you all to come over here. Oh, shit, it broke. No! Oh, I have another one, though. I can repair the other one with this one. No, my beautiful... My beautiful, beautiful minigun was working so good. You're almost dead. Okay. Okay. Ooh, a level up! Nice. Oh, what do we want to do? Um, so, I think that... We've got lock picking. we could level. We have 15 points. Um, I think probably survival... Like, survival and... Hmm, survival or maybe survival medicine. If I get three in the medicine, I can make um, crutches in the, the field a lot easier, which will be nice. Um, if I get some points into survival, I can make a lot better stuff. Like 45, I think, and then maybe the rest into repair. I know I'm kind of spreading these thin, but... I'm sure we'll need repair eventually to... Uh, yeah, I'm thinking about getting the Adamantium Skeleton Perk. Minus 3 DT, but 
uh, limb damage. It it almost seems like I kind of have to go this way, right? Better critical is really good too. 50% more crit damage, um, but less crit. But we just go sneaky, sneaky, right? And this is good, I would say. Um, we have access to quite a bit just because I, I made sure that I had access to a lot of really good perks. Toughness is also, like, we're going to want this eventually, right? I mean, that's, that's a given, I think. 10% faster running is good, too. Um, okay, I think... Or just carry weight. I mean, I haven't... Carry weight hasn't been that big of an issue yet. I feel like because we got the backpacks early on and stuff, we're in a better position than I normally would be. So, yeah, I'm not too worried about that. Um, maybe... Maybe this is good, too, but I think, honestly, what I really need to do is get the Adamantium Skeleton perk, because we're just getting crippled all the damn time. Uh, it's just happening so much, and I there's no way I can possibly find enough... Ooh, a hunting rifle. There's no way I can ever possibly find enough... Um, whatchamacallums, uh, splints and stuff. It, like, it, it just, I mean, I'll be doing it like every... I'll be, I'll be using it all the time. Makeshift shotgun. Oh, wow. Holy cow. Uh, three damage times 12, so 36 damage per shot. That's just like a... If you hit somebody with every shot, that's just a one shot. They're just dead. Game over for them. So yeah, using all, like, makeshift stuff. An old cowboy hat. Oh, it's really cool. I like it, but I really, really don't have the... I, I want to keep my goggles and all this other stuff I have. Okay, I already got that one. Um... I think we cleared out a lot of them. Not him, though. Just has a knife. I could probably take him out. Another one over here with a melee weapon. Just make sure we get all the... We got... Oh, no. I, I died after I got that one random uh, shot over here and killed someone. I think that's all the people, right? Pretty sure. Okay, I'm going to go back to my little uh, camp over here. No, I'm not. I lied. Who is pissed off? Is it you? Pepper powder bag. I don't like the sound of that. Not at all. Not at all. Uh, what else do I have? Because I'm almost out of ammo for this thing. I have a hunting rifle. I don't have a lot of ammo for it with me. Got the makeshift shotgun. I have tons of ammo for this. I also have the uh, nicer... This guy's going to toss this at me, though. From ranged. I'm going to... Uh, yeah, exactly. He's going to throw that at me, and I don't like that at all. Not one bit. So, we can do that. Okay, now we're good. Okay, okay. It's all good. Ooh, nice leather, leather armor again here. It's going to weigh too much, though, huh? Plus a working skull hammer. Maybe, uh, well, if I find some more explosives, I'll uh, put them over here and put the leave this guy here, and then he can be the bait. Stupid... Stupid AI can go over there and pick it up. This is a nice weapon, too. It's just, you know, has to be close up. Okay, but we're making progress, guys. We're making progress. Definitely think that keeping the, um... The arms... In good shape is the most important thing, though, because it affects our accuracy so much. Was it over here? I'm storing things. I think it's the other one. Or no, I didn't put stuff here. I was... Oh, God. Every time it's going to scare me. I was thinking about it. But then I was worried. Because... That guy respawned in here. I think we used the other one. Yeah, I'm going to make my camp over here, I think, in this one. And uh, we'll just shove everything in the armor case, I suppose, for now. But yeah, I'm going to go and get all my other stuff. I'm going to get the other makeshift minigun as well. And repair that one with this one. So we have one that works. Um, try to use these up when I can. They're really good. But yeah, guys, we made some progress. We're, we're taking out some cannibals. 
Things are going okay. Oh yeah, so now since I have the crutch um, before I even leave, let me see. Um, I can go ahead and use my crafting kit. Since I got the medicine skill, now I can make the splints, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Make that, and then, now I can't apply that. Well, I think it worked just like a doctor's bag. Okay, I should have done this, actually. I was just testing, but okay, that's fine. So I can apply this just like I would a doctor's bag, basically. Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. I like it. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna do that little bit of inventory management stuff off screen, and then the next one we will try to tackle the rest of the cannibals over there and make our way inside if it seems feasible to do so, and uh, hopefully rescue the uh, sound like a mother and a daughter that are over there. Um, Dave or whoever it was that was over here, he might be dead, but we'll and I'm pretty sure we killed him, but we will find his wife and daughter for him and save them because we're just great like that. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.